Hey everyone, welcome to the getting started training for On One No Noise AI. Let's first set up our preferences and then we'll jump into removing the noise from our images. To access our preferences, let's head up to our top menu. I'll choose On One No Noise AI 2021 and then I'll select preferences. You can also access your preferences by selecting this icon whenever you're modifying or adjusting the noise in your images. Let's start here in the Preferences dialog with this General tab. With scrolling controls, you can use scrolling to preview zoom, preview pan, or modify your brush size. With preview background color, this is going to modify the background color behind your image whenever you're modifying it or looking at it in detail view. And below that we have the accent color. This will modify the color of buttons and icons that are selected or highlighted. And then we have application language. So if you need to modify the language to suit your needs, you can do that with this menu in here. And below that we have no noise AI default. And this is basically the default setting for the noise adjustments whenever you open up an image inside of No Noise AI. In the Files tab, we can modify how our images are saved when we're editing them. In this File Format section, the default here is going to be PSD, but if you don't modify images with layers or you're rarely working with layers, you can modify this to a TIFF or a JPEG. We can modify our color space, our bit depth, our resolution, and we can also modify default processing. So if we need to turn off the automatic lens correction on our raw photos, we can disable that here. We can also disable base corrections on raw photos. That's telling On One No Noise that we don't want the automatic adjustments applied to our images that match the in-camera processing of those raw files. So if you don't want those automatic adjustments on your raw photos, just choose this Disable Base Corrections option. I'm going to leave this unselected because I do want these applied to my photo. So let's go into the Plugins tab here. And this is where we're going to be adjusting how Photoshop, Lightroom, and Apple Photos sends their images over to On One No Noise. With Photoshop, we can modify whether the results are applied to the current layer that we're working on or they're applied to a copy of the current layer. I typically use copy of the current layer simply because I want to maintain that original layer, but if you want to apply those results to the current layer, you can adjust that here. We then have our Lightroom settings, so if we need to adjust the file type, we can do that in here. We can then modify our color space, bit depth, and resolution. And below that we have stack with original. And I typically keep this off so that it makes it just a bit easier to find. But if you want it stacked with the original, feel free to enable that there. And then we have use original for single PSDs. I typically leave this on as well. And then we have ask every time, and I leave this on as well. And then for Apple Photos, if you want to enable the helper whenever you're sending an image over from Apple Photos, you can enable that there. In the System tab here, we can modify how On One No Noise is used on our computer. I typically keep my memory usage all the way at the default 80%, which is all the way up. I keep my scratch folder in the default location. You can always move that or reset it back to the default location here. And then as far as the performance area, if you're using a relatively new computer, I would recommend pulling this slider all the way up. If you're using an older machine, you can fine tune the video card strength slider to fit your machine by pulling it down about midway or so. With fast panning, this is going to blur the image whenever you're panning around zoomed in. So if you're zoomed into an image and you pan around and it blurs a bit, that's just this fast panning option 
enabled. If you don't want that, you can disable this and it will stay detailed when you're panning around. We also have fast preview. This is going to blur the image a bit when we're masking with brushes or we're retouching with brushes. If you don't want that to blur a bit, just disable that option there. Once you have these settings that you want applied, let's just head in here to okay.